So the Centre for Welfare Reform has many concerns about the way modern society is developing and the way in which we're abandoning attention to our citizenship and to the local communities that we're part of. And certainly it feels to me like the NHS has been partly drawn away from the local into the grand, the corporate, the utterly centralised. The centre is certainly supportive of the renationalisation of the NHS, but one of my questions or challenges is how can we have renationalisation with much greater attention to the community, to the small? Because that's not been the previous history of the NHS, has been rather centralised even from the 1940s. What do you think a better nationalised NHS would look like? Well, I think that a better nationalised NHS is, curiously, more like what it used to be 40 years ago, where there was not REMIC, in other words, there was, there was not an enormous amount of monitoring and instruction and insistence on compliance from um, endless and increasing amounts of bureaucracy and regulation and centralised diktats and so on where although it was a national service there was intelligent and thoughtful discretion allowed for professional autonomy so there was less attempt to control everybody by what i call bureaucratirano hypoxia i wrote a book of, of, of that title in other words you think you can control everything by regulation and instruction so although it is centrally funded, it is more like a family than a factory. And it is where colleagues get to know one another on a locality level and they can make decisions accordingly. And only when that is not working, when there's evidence that that is not working, do the centralised authorities need to step in and direct those professionals.